Hey guys, today we are going to learn how to fix this application failure to start because no QT platform plugin could be initialized. Fix one. Replace the QT files in the destination folder. Open File Explorer and navigate to this PC. PYQT file tools or the folder where your QT based application is installed. Then click on the PYQT file dash tools folder and select open folder location. Go to the PYQT file, then QT, then plugins folder. Right click the platform folder, platforms folder and select copy. Now get to the site package PYQT file dash tools and then to QT and then to bin folders. Right click and select paste confirm the file replacement to when prompted. Fix to open the windows, add or remove program store, locate the programmatic application, select it and click uninstall. Confirm the uninstallation when prompted. Download the latest version of the application the a trusted source. Then the installation file and follow the on-screen instructions to reinstall the application. If the issues persist after the installation, try performing a clean boot to rule out any contact with third-party software. Fix 3. Check for system file corruption. If the above fixes do not resolve the issue, you can manually check for corrupted system files by examining the CBS log file. Look for any error or warnings related to missing or corrupted files and try to replace them with known good copies. Fix 4. Perform a clean boot. Type msconfig in the window, search bar and press enter. In the system configuration window, go to the services tab. Check the hide all Microsoft services checkbox and click visible all. Then go to the startup tab and click open task manager. In the task manager, select startup items and click disable. Restart your computer and try launching the application again. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe.